What's interesting about uh, the Dan Loeb stuff is I think that actually kind of fits with a bit of a consensus out there. And I actually have a piece of today about the markets, about the preference of the market right now for what you would call quality stocks within the market. It's not the same as value. It's strong balance sheets, lower debt, stable businesses, high profit margins, you know, these kind of typical Procter blue and chips. Like, which were Procter and Gamble, but also, I mean, Apple would go into these screens. You know, we actually have a chart of the, uh, there's ETFs, of course, for everything, including this quality uh, style factor. H, uh, SPHQ is one of them. It started out performing a few months ago. So it hasn't just been since the market pulled back. That doesn't look like a big uh, margin, but it's about a, you know, uh, more than about a percent um, advantage over the last month or so. Uh, what's interesting is the message here, and if there's a message. So all the things Loeb was talking about, financial tightening, rates going up, um, companies with a lot of debt, companies very dependent on fast growth, uh, cyclical companies are not in favor right now. Healthcare is up 11% year to date. Mm -hmm. That's very much in line with quality and staples and things like that. So the question is, is this kind of the market kind of hunkering down for something more difficult? In more volatile markets, they tend to outperform. Um, and there's just lack of confidence that the cycle is going to have a lot of strength next year. It's what, late cycle activity. What you're describing, though, is a real shift in sentiment where we used to be conditioned to buy every dip. Now you're talking about selling every rally. I think that's part of this. Um, I think it's much more about preference. It's like, okay, if I'm going to be a buy and hold person, what do I want to hold for a while if, if in fact, I don't think this cycle has a long to go? So, yes, that is something that's going on tactically right now where we did get this nice bounce in the market. Um, it, it really was just a bounce at this point. We have to see if it develops into something else. The other thing I'm conscious about with this sort of quality rotation is that we've had these head fakes before. Mm -hmm. Okay, in early 2016, everybody wanted low volatility stocks that paid big dividends because treasury yields were low. That didn't end up being the thing to do for the next two years. Because sure. right, the election came and it was basically the reverse of that. W was Apple ever a fang stock? Well, people used to add the A Like the additional A, but right. you're saying don't put it there. It shouldn't be. It's... Um, it's a different character of business, yeah. right? So it wasn't just like, oh, there's this magical global network that's going to uh, kind of grow forever, which I think was the premise behind most of Fang. Mm -hmm. um, it was much, obviously, it's a hardware business. Um, it was, also, it was also had a low value, was lower valuation. 60 in Minutes, they're not part of the, you know, the, the evil triumvirate for the, the privacy that stuff. steals everything and, uh, you know, really... I love when Tim Cook gets all self-righteous because it's not his business so anyway. Right. He's sold, right. you know, and he's able to, and he's like, yeah. be able to, I mean, but if I were at the other companies, I'd be like, well, you, you know, what? I think the there is some of that. You have heard some oh, back it's and awesome. forth behind. Awesome. That, that is true. It. Although yeah. I think Tim Cook could say, look, a long time ago at Apple, we we did make right. an affirmative decision not to get right. into he that could. business. Listening to it last night, number one, I was thinking, why am I such a a mooch? to not complain about owning my own right. privacy. And number two, if we ever do stand up for ourselves, that entire business model is at least not going to be nearly as profitable as it is right now. Is Isn't it? It, well, and Facebook has been moving towards that. As they've been tightening, as sure, they've been tightening right. their privacy concerns, it's become less profitable. That's but it, been part of the That's concern. true, although it's not, they're not saying your data is now yours. I didn't know no, my they, 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 they yeah. are stepping in and saying we're not going to see the same. Was Mark sort of Warner growth. on it last night? Because he's the one who talks about personal data Portability. They had a, a soundbite from Mark Warner, yeah. a quick one. Yeah. Because that's an interesting idea. Yeah, like, was you, you can take your phone number, you might as well uh, take your data, too. The Viennese 31-year-old uh, guy that, that, that spearheaded the whole EU initiative, which right. was, uh, you know, I was watching football, and I saw it was coming up on 60 Minutes. It's like, you know what? I actually have to, that was, you know. Homework. <laughs> no, I actually have to watch 60 Minutes. Maybe they won't do anything else. Maybe Leslie Stahl won't be interviewing. You know. Anyway, uh, I was able to watch it, and uh, it actually was, was not bad, Steve Croft. Anyway, yeah. thank you.